I don't even know where it happened, but at some point, like uh, people became enemies, right? Le- right versus left, police, pro police, anti police became enemies, and you can't have a conversation with your enemy um, most of the time, and it's it's incredibly frustrating and, and scary. Did that experience change your perspective of you know the United States and the, and the flag and all that kind of stuff? I've I've kind of come to the point in my life um, where I feel like the notion of a nation state is probably one of the most damaging constructs we've ever created. Very functional from an administration perspective, but very damaging from uh, just about every other perspective, and probably the source of a lot of uh, the the suffering that goes on in our society. Not exclusively, but it uh, it seems like a really silly artificial construct for it to exist at all. Um, and so I'm curious to know if that experience changed your perspective of what it is to be an American, uh, or to, you know, belong to a country or whether, you know, you still have your appreciation for the United States, um, just needing to advance the conversation. I definitely feel different about the United States and the flag and all of, all of things, um, United States of America, but I also understand, you know, how, what being here, what, what it's done for me and the position that it's put, you know, myself and my family. And so I, um, am curious, you know, to explore what life is like in other places. Um, you know, I'm single, I don't have any kids. And so I'm interested in, you know, traveling and figuring out if something else works for me because I have the ability to do that. I'm in a position to be able to do that. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't, I just, I, I feel like we're, we're taking a lot of steps backwards. Um, here in the in the U.S., I feel like our politicians don't put the people before themselves, and I <laughs> that's not a place that I necessarily feel like works for me. And so I I don't know, you know, it's 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 on me to find a place that I feel like does work for me and a place that I feel like I want to build a family in and and these things. And so <laughs> I do feel differently about the United States, and when I do see the flag, I do feel like that is um in some way or shape or form of i definitely feel a little judgy about when i see the american flag now people that are flying the american flags or they have them out i just feel like they it it makes me a little skeptical a little nervous and it's a it's shameful to say that you know um it's shameful to say you know negative things about about the country but that's the place that we're in and so I got into the mental health space the personal wellness space the psychedelic space with the thought of helping myself and others heal, you know, and get to a place where we can run these systems of government um, in a way that is more beneficial for all of us, in a place that we all coexist, in a place that, um, you know, we're look- we're all looking out for each other. And that comes from a place of love. And so uh, to bring all of that back, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the place that we're in as human beings and as in the United States. But that's that's really why I'm here. And that's why I choose um, and I'm going to choose to you know continue to use the platform that I have, whether it be, you know, on the big stage or on the small stage, you know, with friends and family and the people that I'm around to say, hey, we've got to do better um, as human beings. And um, I feel like I have a couple of ideas of ways that we can do that. And so let's, let's work towards that. Yeah. Uh, we had Carl Hart on uh, the podcast a couple of months ago and he said, you can't be black and conscious and live in America all year round. And so he spends half his time in Switzerland. That, that probably resonates with you. Okay. Let's talk psychedelics. So what was your first experience with psychedelics and, and take us through that? Um, I'd love to hear about your experience with field trips specifically, but let's go back to you know, a, a black American who probably has not only received all of the messaging about drugs being bad that anybody got in high school, but the unique circumstances of your community. When did you make the decision that this was an area of exploration for you? And and what was it, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, no, we, I mean, we started casually using, using drugs like in high school. So mushrooms, yep. ecstasy, whatever, like we were all doing together. You know, we we uh, enjoyed ourselves if it was like a little teen night or like a teen club or whatever we were doing. But yeah. uh, my first real experience, I would say, I think I came back from I graduated high school early and went to college um, for like that winter semester. All my friends were still in school. And when I came back after graduation, we all did like a hero dose of 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 mushrooms together at one of my friends house uh, houses. And that was my true first experience, I guess, tripping, if you want to say. And um, 
I actually, it was a bad one. And my perspective or theory on bad trips, quote unquote, is just things that are in the subconscious or things that are, that we haven't dealt with coming up, coming out to play and coming and showing up. Um, and so I actually felt like, and this was something that, you know, I don't know if it was true or not, or something that I was making up in my head, but I felt like my friends were like, there was like this feeling of jealousy from my friends of like the success that I was having. And so I separated myself from them um, and just like was going around my friend's house and like they had a bunch of artwork and stuff. And so I was just like by myself on this trip as I started to feel anxious and just like weird and like that negative energy. Um, so yeah, that was, that was my first experience it was just like, okay, we were all together having a good time. And then all of a sudden the energy shifted. I was feeling this like weird sense of like anxiety and like this jealousy in the room. And so I just separated myself from that energy and went and just kind of like focused on music and the paintings and the artwork in the house. And, and that was that. And, uh, in reflection, do you think that feeling was real? I would think that it was, no, I think that it was just more the place that I was in, uh, you know, being young and feeling like I had done something or like accomplished something or like, you know, I felt like I was just, I think like my head was big and my chest was out. And so I was like in my head about thinking like, oh damn, like they think a certain way about me or feel a certain way about me based off of one comment being that I'm sensitive to um, communication, that I'm sensitive to body language, that I'm sensitive to people's energy. Like I'm just a sensitive person and not knowing that at the time um, and not being comfortable exploring that or saying that, you know, it's something that, you know, now that I'm 30, I'm like, oh shit, I am sensitive. I do care on people's body language and their words do matter to me, you know? And so thinking back now at that experience, I think it was just something I was in my own head about, but something that I also needed to come to the forefront so that I could figure out, Hey buddy, you're sensitive <laughs> and, and that's okay. And when, you know, when you don't like something, go change the temperature go put some music on, go do, do something else. And so, yeah, I always, I always try to reframe this idea of a bad trip to just the subconscious bringing up things that need to come to the forefront.